working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Investigation Discovery has dropped the trailer for their new four-part docu-series called Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Per a press release, the series alleges there was, quote, an insidious environment rife with allegations of abuse, sexism, racism, and inappropriate dynamics with its underage stars and crew, and specifically focuses on allegations of a toxic work environment involving Dan Schneider, the creator of hit Nickelodeon shows such as iCarly and Zoe 101. In the trailer, former cast and crew members share their experiences working for the network and Schneider. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. It wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slugged, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives. Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Thank you for being here. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Dan's treatment of people on his shows was an open secret. So my lawyer filed complaints, gender discrimination, hostile work environment, harassment, and it was so devastating. How safe can any kids be in that environment? There would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon all in a short amount of time. Hey guys, we're ready for you. It was a toxic environment. It made me trust people less. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It's a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. I've been waiting 17 years for today. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Have you ever told your story publicly before? E! News has reached out to Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider for comment and has not yet heard back. In 2018, Nickelodeon and Schneider announced that they were no longer working together. In a 2021 interview with the New York Times, Schneider said he never acted inappropriately with people he worked with, stating, I couldn't, and I wouldn't have the long-term friendships and continued loyalty from so many reputable people if I'd mistreated my actors of any age, especially minors. Schneider also told the newspaper that if people considered him, quote, difficult, this was because of what he called his high standards. As he put it, I'm very willing to defend creative things that I believe in. Quiet on set, The Dark Side of Kids TV will premiere across two nights on ID, March 17th and 18th.